and to build a more professional website what would you recommend typescript plus so it depends on um for a more professional website like the the advantage that you currently have with php is that everything is server side rendered right out of the box you get something on the server side and basically you get it shipped as total index html to to the browser which is automatically good usually for speed because you do not ship too much javascript and is automatically also good for search engine optimization but um the problem is once you start to use angular and this kind of stuff angular and this kind of stuff angular and other frameworks like react and so on you are basically entering the world the world of single page applications and the difference i mean just say if that's boring or like if you already know this kind of stuff if not i can explain it um but yeah basically the idea is that you the difference is kind of like right you have to so you have a browser and you have a server and now what is happening when a user comes you basically do like you make a request to fetch some html and then what you get back is basically some whoa some html so you get that back and in php you basically do the work the main work is done here right so here you you basically start to um i don't know if that's the correct uh, type of but here you start to create website you, you build the web build your site basically but that has like the disadvantage that whenever you fill a form out or something you go back to the server and you revalidate um, but that is server side rendered we call that so basically that is SSR right so you build it on this side um, then we have the single page applications so let's take that again and let's let's do the same for single page applications so sorry for the um for that while drawing but the idea here is with single page applications you do a request and what you get back is an html but that html looks very different from what you get here because that html here will look something like this basically like a very simplified version is html and you have the closing tag and inside here you have something like a app root so if you would check the application that i'm building right now that is not server side rendered so let's let's take a look now let's open the network tab let's go on a network and we will see um, the doc so the doc is basically the response we get from the server that's the html that gets sent from the server here um, now what we get here is app root so that's just one tag right that's just a root tag and what is going to happen here now is basically you ship that root tag but you also ship a bunch of javascript so there you see how we ship angular and everything and our bundles so main.js that's our code you so inside here you will find the split button and everything and you ship that and now what is going to happen is angular will see um, if you check the doc again angular will look for this app root and then basically angular will start bootstrapping itself and will start to build the application so because this is just an app root but the running application has of course more dom so that's basically angular hooking in here and then starting to build build the whole page right but if you look at something or or maybe what is the issue with this approach it's super cool because you then do not have to go to the server all the time because you are client side and you are fast here and here you can do everything but the problem with this approach is that search engines basically that's what the search engine sees right the search engine only sees this app root so you don't know you have no idea what this 
application is all about. So you, you just don't know or Google just doesn't know. And therefore, there is something that is called SSR. And if you check, for example, angularexperts.io, this is an Angular application. But if you check the document that gets shipped here, you can see that this looks vastly different because you have everything inside here already. And the search engine can analyze that. And that is then called server-side rendering. In our case, we use SSG, which is server-side generation. So the difference between server-side generation and server-side rendering is server-side generation happens during build time and SSR happens on the fly. Depends on how dynamic your data is. And yeah, I mean, if you are a search engine, let's, let's put it like this. Imagine you are the search engine, right? So that's kind of you, if I can draw this, right? So this is kind of the, <laughs> the search engine, right? And now basically imagine we know that you have to observe basically some object that will be placed probably here. Here is like the, the, the place we want to build an object. So that's kind of like the client browser, right? Now imagine here we have some, so that's just a metaphor that I just made up. But imagine here you have like some construction company. And here would be like the construction place, right? Now what will happen is basically you are the search engine and you basically you check, you check exactly what is happening inside here. Now let's first take this for the, whoa, can I move the to the send backward? Send to back, right. So let's say, let's take first a look at the SSR scenario. Uh, the SPA scenario, sorry. So in an SPA scenario, you request some, let's say you would request a house. What is going to happen is inside here, the construction company builds that house and then basically takes all the pieces of that house inside of their um, nice vehicle. So somewhere in there, right? Whoa. So they take it, I mean, I don't know if this is a great metaphor, but they take it and they come here, right? And then here they start to build it. And the problem is here, you know what it is. So here they start to build a house and so on. And here at this point, you really know what it is. So you know it's an application that looks like this and that, or here in this construction metaphor, you know it's a house that has like two windows or three windows. But the problem is that you are the search engine and you can only see here in this spot. In this spot, in this area, you have no idea. You just know that something comes, but you have no idea what it is. Now, if you do the same for the SSR or SSG context, then it's different because basically you would request something and I mean, I mean, this arrow still is valid, but you, re you request something from the construction company. They construct it here and then they put the house directly on top here. And now you as a search engine, if you check this out, right? You already know, well, this is a house. And by the way, that house has like has two blue windows and now you know ah, okay if somebody searches for a house with two blue windows so Google can basically know that so that's kind of like a, a way to think about it and sorry for that long story <laughs> 
But basically what I try to say is if you want to build a modern web application that is really has the goal to be search engine optimized and has to be found publicly, you have to go for something that is SSR and SSG. And Angular can do this pretty nicely. So if you start to build, for example, so there are multiple ways to go about it. If you like Angular, you can go with the new, with the normal Angular. So let's say you would do an NPX and Angular CLI latest and you run that. Angular will ask you, uh, yeah, I'm in the workspace. Let's do it here. So Angular will ask you, do you want to use what style sheet and so on, but do you want to enable SSR and static site generation? So if you take that as a yes, then you will build it like this. That's one way to go about it. Um, then it depends on what you are building. There are also other cool frameworks. For example, here you still have to do the routing and stuff yourself. And analog is something that is pretty cool because it gives you route-based access and does everything SSR out of the box, has some pretty neat features, some pretty nice syntax. Um, so for sure go for analog. I, for example, built Skullsnap with analog. Um, yeah, those are options. Then what else do you have? Probably us, Astro you can use if you want to build a block. And in the React world, I actually don't know so well. But yeah, sorry for that long story, but you, you should have now the, the full picture at least.